Okay. Welcome to the video. I wanted to do a quick video for my for my buddy Reed Reed. Hello, sir. Uh, this is if you're getting started on Dark Age of Camelot on the Eden private server, and also if your name is Reed. This is for you, and anyone else who could be helped by these. Uh, the, the, I guess the uh, the hiccups I encountered when attempting to play this game for the first time since 2001. So we've got this uh, private server up. It's it's phenomenal. It's great. Good time. Glad glad you found it. the The installation's pretty self-explanatory. This is your first choice here. You're picking your realm. On this server, you can play any realm and bounce back and forth however you like. So don't think it's a permanent decision. So for this uh, for this thing, let's. Let's go to uh, let's go to Albion, and uh, you're gonna create a character, and uh, press create, and these are your options. There's a few that aren't available, like Mauler, Heretic. Those we can't do because of the uh, I guess the way the way because of the way that it is. But you make you can make yourself a guy. Let's say uh, let's make my let's make a. Um, let's just make a necromancer. And then you call him a, a tutorial man, woman thing. Totorama one. That works. Uh, you press continue. Look at those eyes. Look at those beady eyes. Uh, so yeah, so then you can just design it however you want it to look like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can pick your attributes here. It, it suggests, like, it gives you suggestions of what you want to do. You can do that if you like. Uh, so just optimize it, whatever you want. And then you press continue. So we got a uh, Totoral man woman thing. The necromancer. To Totoral? Totoral? Tutorial? All right, so now we're jumping in. And this is the part that, that I, I really wanted to. <coughs> Get sorted out. So you log in, right, and you're just you're hit with all this stuff everywhere. Where my video is right here is the chat screen. I'm gonna go ahead and get my face out of here so we can see everything. Let me get rid of this. There we go. Okay, I had to before you watch the rest, adjust your UI scale. I'm sorry to interrupt. Adjust your UI scale by doing this. Go up to the top left. Press L, uh, click down, and drag these things out until it fits your screen. So you can go in, you can make it however big or, or little or bigger, little or bigger, little or bigger you like. So yeah, get your UI scale first before continuing. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just going to describe what I'm doing, uh, and hopefully it could help you get your user interface set up. So I'm moving with W, S, A, and D. And um, what I want to do is I, I can barely see the chat box over here. So what I want to do is I just want to click it at the top left and pull it up here. Just give it some space. And then this one I'm not going to click up and drag because there's these things that are in the way over here. So actually I'm going to move this out of the way like that. And then for some of them you have to hold down the shift key when you click. So I'm holding down shift and I'm grabbing this. This is a latency. Shows me the, the the lag of the server in my computer. And then this one, I don't have to press shift. I'll put that there. It's the time. I'll just drag it and move it up here. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and get, put this guy back. So this is the actual chat bar area. This is where people are talking. So I'm grab from the top right up here. It's, you see this thing? It can go like, it can get really big out here. You can just move it around like that I'm gonna guide it up to like right there next to it and it's still the text is really small so uh, what I want to do here now is I want to right click this I'm gonna go to the font size move it to 15 same here just right click the background of this thing we go to font size I'll go to 16 here so I can read a little bit clearer so these are all the chat channels going on right now. Looking for group, you can find groups, advice, you type slash advice 
and you can start asking things of everyone that's playing or you type slash LFG like slash looking for group hello slash advice ahoy um, anyway that's the chat box so now let's get into the user interface here this is the first time information screen up here on the top left I'm gonna uh, put you want to grab this I'm just gonna put it here so I can read it better so anytime information pops up, it'll appear right there, and I can just exit out of that. Don't need this. Uh, next thing I want to clear up is this bar at the top right over here. This is like your inventory, ability, skill panel stuff. I'm going to go ahead and leave that as it is and just close it. This at the right here is the map. Press M to pull up your map. I'm going to go ahead and guide it guide over here because I, I use this a lot. And then I'll just press. You can follow your location. So wherever zone you're in, it'll follow you. I usually keep that on and, unless I'm looking around at where I should go. So I'll get out of that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to guide th slide this thing down here to the bottom right. I use this sometimes. I mostly use this just to sit down. Um... But it's still good to have it there. I don't know why I really have it there. I mostly only ever just click the sit button. So now's the now now's the fun stuff here. Okay, so right here is your character's health, endurance, and power. Important information. So I, I put I do everyone does it differently. I put mine right here because I can see it right next to the things I'm fighting. And this is the group monitor, so if I'm in a group with people, all their names and their power levels show up here. So I put it right underneath, just in case I need to click somebody if I decide to be a healer or something. I can just, like, bounce it down. This is the compass. This is another one that you have to hold down shift to click. Hold down sh to move it. So I hold down shift, grab it, and just put it, like, right up there. These right here, experience bar... Realm rank bar. You don't need these. The experience is right here, and you can click this and it'll change it to realm points. You just click this to see what your stuff is. Um, so I'll just get rid of these. Don't need them. And then right here are your uh, hot buttons of your abilities and your skills. So I'm going to move around a little bit. Uh, we're going to go... Am I an Albion person? I'm an Albion person. Okay, so I can move. I can look around with the mouse. Uh, hold down left click to like look around you while you're running. Hold down right click to change the, the view here. And uh, that symbol is a quest marker. But before we do any quest or anything, before we get started, we want to figure out what our character can do. So this is when we go to the top right area here. I'm going to go over these bars real quick. This is These are your attributes. This shows you what your stats are. Uh, sometimes, um, like this is a mount. We don't need to worry about that now. But The next one is your inventory. You don't get a mount until level 20. But this is your inventory. So the first thing you want to do is go to your inventory. This is your starter weapon. Every character gets a starter weapon. To see the stats of it, you hover over it. If you want to get more detail on the stats, which is what I, I usually do, right click it. You'll see this, this inventory um, item thing popped up. Move it over here next to your inventory. It'll make it a lot easier. So when you're looking through items and you want to see what their stats are, it's all right there where your mouse already is. So you click this, and if you want to see more details about this weapon, press info. I never use any of these other buttons. I don't really know what they're for. But I press info, and it shows me how effective the DPS is. Like, Because certain items, if it's a yellow item, it's for your level. But certain items are higher level that, that don't have as effective DPS and, until you get to the level to use them. And a lot of items have stats that will appear right here. And that will tell you, uh, you know, how, how, much, like, how, how awesome the item is. So I'm going to take that and I'll click it. I'm going to give it to the to the to Totoral woman, man, woman thing. And uh, exit out of that. So I've equipped my weapon. Now, 
I want to figure out what my skills are. So I go to the next one. These are the specializations I can have, and these are the abilities. So sprint, always want to have on the bar. I usually put my sprint right down here. When I add something, I take something away. This whole hotbar thing isn't that intuitive. So to get rid of things that are on here, you hold down shift and right click, and it goes away. Uh, this is an attack command. It'll just attack for me if I press 1 or click it. So shift and right click to remove things. This is stick. This means like if I'm, if I want to follow this person, I can just press this button and I'll auto follow him. You'll use that a lot. And then face like puts me in the direction of the uh, target. Boom. And get rid of this right here. Okay, so back to the skills. So those are my specializations. Here's my combat styles. If you're a melee person, you'll have like sword, axe, piercing, and it'll show you combat skills that you can use. And since I'm a necromancer, I've got all these spell categories. So the first three categories here, you'll automatically get spells when you level up to three of the different specializations. So this one's called Health Evacuation. It's a pet command. I want to read it. Click it. I bring it over here. This one is a another pet command. Click it. Read it. Bring it over here. This one summons the pet to serve me. The Necromancer is a pretty cool class. I haven't played one since since back in the day. So right click this. See what it is for sure. Take it, move it over here. I put it down here because I'm sure I'll just press it once and leave it alone until I die. And then we got these three, which are your specializations, which is as you level up. When you level up, you type slash train. And this is where you can administer your points. So you can pick one of these specializations and it'll give you spells or skills into these categories, these special categories. These, you'll only, you only get skills or spells if you put points into the stuff at the bottom three of this list. So this one's a pet command. Pretty cool. Throw it on there. This one's also a pet command. Looks like it does an area of effect attack. So I'll put that like right there. And you can replace things, but you can't like drab, drag and drop. You'll have to shift shift right click to remove things if you want to get rid of them and then you got uh, another pet command so generally you have way more skills than you actually use and and there's generally gonna be one or two skills that are better than the other ones that you see and you don't actually need to fill the bar up with all these I'm sure you, you can sort through that uh, and that's it that's how you set up your action bar that's how you set up your UI and that's how you can start playing um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go over, talk to this guy, get your first quest. He tells you what's going on. You accept it. Press your press the J button to pull up your journal. It tells you what you're doing. Go northeast and kill five small black bears. So that's good. Press my map. The red dot is where the quest marker is, where those black bears are. And I can look at my compass here right there and I'm going northeast and you know what I'll go ahead and sprint over there there's the bears let's get my pet out see if we can't do some damage here call the minor zombie total oh alright now I'm like a ghost a ghost protocol with a zombie servant cool Okay, so let's uh, so now I've got this pet bar. Then you can tell it to attack, defend. So let's pick out a bear. The yellow is like my level. Blues are a little a level below. So let's have him attack it. So I'm having him attack it. He's pulling it. He's fighting it. Yeah, necromancer is I guess kind of a complicated class to start with. I don't. I did have to sit here and like remember how to play it and ask people questions. Um, I mean, this one 
Okay, so this one gives me power when we use the spell, it looks like. That's pretty good. Wow, he's actually really good at killing things. I just tell him to attack it. And he brings it in. And then, uh... Is this an instant? What is that? Oh, I can cast a spell while he's fighting. That's pretty cool. So he's hitting it, and I'm casting spells at it at the same time. So I can click this, have him pull the health evacuation, which heals himself while he attacks. And then I can start attacking with this thing while he's attacking. Boom. And we're like a little, a little necromancer team here. It looks like this spell can only be used in close range, so I got to be kind of close to the target. But yeah, so all the bears are dead. Press B to load up your backpack. You'll see I got all these cool items now. Because when items drop, they automatically go to your inventory. I can look at them and see what it does. There's all the bonuses it gives me. Boom, put that on. Look at this. Bonuses. This is nice. Look at all these stats. Way better. Throw that on. We got some... Oh, yeah. Fat loots. Got a belt. And we're strapped. We're full. We're getting there. So then you just go ahead and run back to your quest guy, you turn it in, and just keep doing that over and over and over until the end of time. That's what life is, that's what this game is, that's what everything is all about. You get the, you get the loots, you get the gears, you get the experiences, XP's, you level up, just tell me what to do, speak to this guy. I'm level two, let me do, okay, so anyway, so then that's what we do now, we do quests, that's what life is. We just do these quests over and over and get more better loots all the time while learning how to play this game. And also get better at PvP, which is really fun eventually to get into. But so yeah, go to train. If you'll notice here, I leveled up to level two. So all of these automatically gave me spells. And if I wanna put, uh, let's see. I heard Death Sight is the good leveling specialization. So I have two specialization points boom click that gives me a new skill it's, it attacks and heals train it now it's under my death site right there I can take the brand new skill move it to the bar I'm not like sorting this I'm just kind of going through it this one's a heal so I, I can heal my pet put that there this one is uh, slow. Throw it there. Anyway, you'll figure it out. That's basically it. That's how you get started. Uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and get out of here and pull the camera back on. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the game. Hope you, uh, if you have any questions or anything at all, you can leave a comment or uh, shoot me a message. And uh, that's all she wrote. Enjoy your uh, adventures.